I'm Liz Noble. I'm a qualified naturopath and author of the ebook Nature's Amazing Ear Infection Cures. Today we're talking about the seven mistakes that people often make when treating ear infections. Now making these mistakes can prolong your recovery or cause complications. Problems like chronic ear pain, loss of hearing, uh, nausea, dizziness, and a condition called mastoiditis, which is an inflammation and infection of the bone um, behind the ear, which can be quite serious. So mistake number one, which I commonly see in my patients in my clinic, and this is not resting your body when you are first diagnosed with an infection. Now this is crucial. You need to stop going to work, to school, to college, rushing around after the, the kids or the children. Um, it's time to rest your body. So go to bed, put your feet up and start to say no. Um, most patients do feel fairly ill when they have an ear infection. So they can have fever, you know, ear pain, nausea, dizziness, vomiting in some cases, loose stools, uh, swollen glands. So definitely listen to your body and rest your body. Mistake number two uh, leads on from mistake number one. And this is not getting adequate sleep. Now your body needs deep quality sleep when you're recovering from an ear infection. When you're asleep, your body makes a hormone called growth hormone. Now growth hormone is your body's repair hormone. So you need lots of it when you're, when you're ill. Um, now to make adequate growth hormone, aim to be in bed and asleep by 11 p.m. at night. For kids, um, a lot earlier obviously, and perhaps a daytime nap is a good idea for children as well. Now, before you go to sleep, um, please don't drink caffeine, run around the house, you know, play computer games, watch TV. These aren't going to help you get a good night's sleep. Try and unwind before bedtime. So perhaps a relaxing um, hot bath, a chamomile tea is a good idea, read a good book or meditate, whatever suits you best. Now, mistake number three, and this is probably the most common mistake that I see in my patients, and this is not drinking enough fluids to flush out the bacteria and viruses and toxins from your system. Now your, your aim should be between eight to 10 glasses of fluids a day, which can include uh, you know, pure water, herb teas, lemon juice in warm water is great. Hot broths and soups are good for ear infections. Uh, please try and avoid tea, coffee, alcohol and soft drinks. This will dehydrate your cells and make you feel um, a lot worse. Okay, this is the first three mistakes covered. In my next video post, we'll go and discuss the final four mistakes that people um, often make. Good, thank you.